I'm Terry Pitts, and this is Author's Journey number seven. This week is the conclusion of the series of interviews I did in Guelph, Ontario at the Wright Canada Conference. I'm speaking with Donna Fawcett, who writes under the pen name Donna Dawson, and is an award-winning suspense novelist. She is an instructor for creative writing at Fanshawe College, and is well aware of the challenges faced by today's writers. She has experienced both royalty publishing and self-publishing and help students create compelling stories and market them well. Enjoy the interview. Just a few questions. Uh, uh, we have uh, lots of folks that are interested in, in learning more about, uh, about what we're doing uh, as writers, you know, how, how we grow and, and, uh, and, and what our journey is. So, so uh, the, the, the vlog is called Author's Journey. Uh, so can you tell me a little bit about your journey? Oh, it's been a long journey. It's been interesting. I've been a kilt maker. I've been a farrier for horses. I have been a homeschool mom. And now I'm a creative writing instructor, and I have a couple of novels that are award winners. Okay, so, so how does kilt making translate into, into novel uh, writing? Oh, uh, I, I'm sure at some point I will write a novel about Scotland. About kilt <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> cool stuff. Uh, aside from learning the craft of writing, what are the two most important skills a, writer's, a writer needs in this changing industry? Like, I think the first thing you admit that there's, the industry is changing dramatically. Oh, very much so, yeah. very much so. Um, a writer needs to, to be able to separate their emotion from the writing once it's done. Okay. So we have to be able to understand that it's it's fiercely competitive. We can't be so sensitive to our writing that we're not willing to have it change. Okay. The second thing is editing. No book, no manuscript should even be considered submitted till it has been edited, proofread, critiqued, mm -hmm. whichever you can afford or yep are able to do. Yep. So I would say those are the two most important yep. things. Any ideas on, on self-publishing or, or what's, what's your kind of your thoughts in that area? There, there are three kinds of publishing. There's standard royalty publishing, there's self-publishing, and there's vanity publishing. Mm -hmm. Vanity publishing, you will never hear me say yes. Yep. Uh, typically a vanity publisher promises lots and gives nothing or yep. gives very little yep. self-publishing has its place mm -hmm. you, if you have somebody who has a speaking ministry they mm -hmm. have a singing ministry mm -hmm. they don't want that limited print run yep. um, that and they want to be able to update the book as they need to so mm -hmm. an educational book yep. that is a very valid market yep. for mm -hmm. self-publishing and, and some of my books have been self-published, some have been royalty published. They're just completely different entities for different reasons. The books themselves are different? The, uh, or, uh, yeah, the books themselves are different, and, and as I said, for different reasons. Cool, cool. Um, if, you're, if you were going to, uh, if you were just a new writer starting out, mm -hmm. um, where would you start? What, what, what ideas would you, could you give uh, new writers that are looking for some, some guidance, being as your... Education. You know, Okay, so Education is definitely the best starting point, and and it doesn't have to be fork out a whole lot of money mm -hmm. for a great this great big education. Yep. It can be as simple as going to a writers conference, mm -hmm. picking the brains of people who have been not putting in there. the plug for Write Canada no, or anything no, no, at this no. point. Yeah. No, no, not at all, not at all. No, very valuable information. That's where you make connections. That's where you learn. Mm -hmm. um, taking writers courses, taking. Um, taking just getting getting together in critique groups not being afraid to learn more than you know yep. I, that is definitely the starting point yep yep and i've often seen people I, one of the one of the phrases i always disliked mm -hmm. in my kids was when they said i the two words i hate the most i know i know because that cuts <laughs> off all learning and, and uh, so yes. so so i think that yeah uh, cool uh, but basically that's anything you would add anything that you can any other advice you could give uh, at this point in time with their just don't give up Okay. Uh, the industry is going through some changes. Um, publishing companies are cutting staff. They're cutting, they're cutting waste areas because mm -hmm. they have to to survive. Mm -hmm. So, 
This is an opportunity for writers. We have to work harder. We have yep. to polish our work more okay. so that what we present is its very best. And on the marketing side of things, do we, oh. do we need to get more involved in that? Oh, than very much so. Um, I, my favorite analogy is, um, and I'm not going to use the running shoe company's name, but there's a big running shoe company out there and if they hadn't thought about their marketing before they created their product mm -hmm. we would not have ever heard of their name yep. so writing is no different we have to realize that while we have purpose behind our writing mm -hmm. it is a product yes mm -hmm. so we have to market that product mm -hmm. we have to be creative we have to think outside of the box and try and try and come up with ideas that are just as creative as the story we've written yeah we, we if, if you have a a message to get out. I yes. think it behooves you to, to kind of like yeah. get it. You, you, it won't get out there exactly. unless you do tell people about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you very much for well, your thank time. You. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for watching this series of interviews. If you want any information about Donna, click on the link to the right of the screen to go directly to her website. Next week, I'm going to start this two week unorthodox series on understanding personality types. Whether you are a writer, a parent, an employer, or an employee, this will be a very valuable and eye-opening uh, series for you to watch. So, so please come back next week. And I look forward to seeing you then. God bless. Yeah.